WKZL TV3 Kalamazoo. Calm yourself. I have just one simple question. You haven't changed your mind now, have you? About seeing Brock? You're going to tell him the truth now that you're not ready. I have not changed my mind. Now, when did Brock say he was going to the cemetery? After I finished up here. He's going to call and see what time I'm done, and oh, well, I'm supposed to go with him. <sighs> then there's time. Time for what? I wondered, Elizabeth, um, is, is Suzanne there? Suzanne? Why? Is she? Well, yes, but, but, but what? Mrs. Chancellor, what's going through your head? I just wanted to make sure Suzanne is there. Well, yes, she is, Mrs. Miss Chancellor. Mr. Thurston is here, too. Derek is there? You just stop talking for a minute. Oh, really? Sex in the afternoon, Elizabeth? Of course not. Not like that. Well, how do you know? Yes, no. Look, I hear him now. We've got to get off the phone. Wait, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, wait. Uh, Derek, he'll be leaving soon? Well, he said he'd only be here a minute. He, he came back because he forgot something. Good, then I'll be over shortly. He'll be over. Uh... She phoned me. I've been happy to bring those catalogs over to the salon. Oh, well, I thought it'd be nice to drive out. Spend a few minutes, say hello. I want to get out of the shop. It's such a beautiful day. That makes me feel good. To hear you say that. Knowing that you're thinking about me. Well, listen, I've really got to run. You won't be too late tonight. I no. no. And with any luck, uh, I might just be able to wrap up early. Wonderful. I'll try to make it a very special evening for us. <laughs> What were you talking about? Something being in your imagination. How long have you been standing there? You seem a little on edge. Any reason? Mrs. Foster, you are the housekeeper here, that's all. Now, why don't you just do your job and mind your business? Are you feeling guilty or, or something? You got something to hide? I'd watch my step if I were you. You are only help in this house. Well, when I see you peeking around in back of the drapes... You were watching me. I don't like being spied on. Well, that's the strangest thing. I thought I heard you call me. Something about the terrace doors and keeping them locked. Yes, I have asked you about that, haven't I? How come? I mean, it never worried you before. What are you getting at, Mrs. Foster? What makes you think I'm getting at anything? Your tone. Your manner. Were you looking for something behind the drapes? Maybe I can help you find it. I find it very interesting. Why are you so concerned that I was looking for something behind the drapes? Well, maybe you're not happy with the way I clean back there. No, it has nothing to do with the way you clean. Then you were looking for something. Obviously, there's something you want me to say. And for the life of me, I can't figure out what that is. You've made yourself awfully comfortable here, haven't you? In Mrs. Thurston's home. Oh, Mrs. Foster. This isn't Mrs. Thurston's home anymore. She's dead. This is Derek's home now. You know what some folks say about a dead person's soul when it isn't at rest? now, and I'm going to take a leisurely bath, and I'm going to change. They say the 
Sometimes a person's spirit comes back to its home, and it stays there forever, trying to find peace. Glad you're here. Yes. You know what I told you about Derek and Suzanne? How I was sure that there was nothing going on between them. I think maybe I was wrong. Awful wrong. I think maybe you got here just in time. Where is she? Upstairs. She's taking a leisurely bath. There was a benefit, no doubt. The woman didn't even try to hide it. Elizabeth, would you excuse me, please? I, uh, I think I'm going to go on up now. Perfect. Everything's got to be just perfect. I'll try to look my best. Tramp. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear a thing. Where now? What to wear? The perfect gown for a night of love. No one's here. No one's here. It's... It's my mind playing tricks on me. Again. irresistible tonight. Thank you. 